righty. Well, let's just let's skip over the uh, ten woman tag team match that they had. Uh, and as well, Ethan Page and Ava were in the back bothering Adam Pierce, and Ava was hugging Sexy Red. And boy, right there, they they could put pictures of both of them in prison to cure the sex offenders. Does Ava have the least amount of charisma, or, I sh- or it's, just just anything that would make you think that she should be in an on air speaking role in a wrestling show? It's contest winner level status here. But anyway, the main event, because here's the thing, I, when this match was going to the ring, I realized, oh, shit, it's only two hours tonight. This son of a bitch is going to be over only two hours. I was so overjoyed to remember that, that I was jazzed up for this match. And Sammy and Gunther for the world title, and Sammy's been bugging him about, and they told the story great. It's very simple. The only time that Gunther has been pinned since April 2022, since he came to the main roster, was at WrestleMania by Sami Zayn. That's right, yeah. And so is Sami Gunther's kryptonite. And I love these two together because Sami can sell his... He's, he may be the Ricky Mortonist person in the game today and Gunther is perfect in every and especially as a big bully and beating on a guy that has to fight from underneath and that's what they did they you know again they both know what they're supposed to be doing based on what they look like I'm sure that Gunther is agile enough and Sammy is strong enough that Sammy could be goddamn suplexing and brain buster and Gunther all over the goddamn ring, they could perform those moves, but it would look fucking stupid. So they both work how they look and how they, and how their gimmick comes off. Sammy's the feisty, never say die underdog. That'll surprise you. And Gunther's this big ass fucking heavy handed bully. And they worked this to where it was if, if, if plausible if Sammy would be doing something, you know, he got a blue thunder bomb out of a sleeper. He hooked him up, boom, out of nowhere. And, you know, at some point, Gunther would take Sammy a little lightly and Sammy would be selling and suddenly he'd double leg Gunther and he'd fight back. And Sammy gave him a suplex on the floor and a suplex into the barrier, or a, not a suit, but a backdrop on the floor and a suplex into the barrier. 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 Kevin? Uh, well, the barrier. It was the barrier. Eddie hit him on the, the halluva kick on the rail and tried to roll him in, but couldn't. So. He broke the count himself and went back to Gunther and got him in the ring and hit him with another kick. And as he tried the all-or-nothing third one, he ran right into Gunther's clothesline, and Gunther got a two-count. And then they would trade shit for two counts that said they'd set up plausibly that was, you know, each other's shit. Sammy with a jackknife got a two-count, but Gunther with a powerbomb. And the fans were chanting, Sammy, Sammy. And then... Gunther hit him with a fucking clothesline and a power bomb, and Sammy kicked out at a one count. Like, came out of it like, oh, fucking tried to fire himself up, and Gunther was shocked. And then grabbed a sleeper on him and stayed on him. And was trying to hold him down, and they're milking Sammy, getting the ropes, and he's reaching, and he's reaching, and the announcers are... Only just a couple of more inches, and then Gunther pulled him back, and the referee had to ring the bell. And normally, I hate the stationary finishes where they just... But the, the, the stationary finishes are when they're in the middle of the fucking ring, and they've just had the hold forever, or they blah, blah, blah. There was drama to this. They milked it. You thought he was going to get to the ropes, and at the last second, he got cinched back in. And it was great timing because you could feel the people's anticipation. And then when it didn't happen, they were, uh. 
But I love these two guys in a, in a manly way. Where do you think they go with Sammy? Um, it would, that's the thing. You can still go anywhere with Sammy because the, the fans like him as a person and they don't expect to see him win all the time. They're happy and surprised what he does win the big one every now and then. Because he's not supposed to be Superman. He's supposed to be every man. So this upcoming match with Gunther and Cody, which is for a belt, but I guess technically it's not a championship you defend. It's just more like a trophy. What do you think? I mean, the idea one of these guys has to do the job. If Cody does a job to Gunther, what does that mean? And if Gunther does the job for Cody, what does that mean? It certainly, I think it would hurt Gunther more than it would hurt Cody probably to lose. What well, do I don't think, at this point, I don't think it would hurt. I, I wouldn't do it just for nothing or just for a regular show for $50 million. I, I may take the chance, but I think that Cody has to win that one. And you know how big of a fan of Gunther I am, but I think also they can probably do it in such a way to give Gunther an out that it's worth the $50 million. Does that set up things well for the future at some point? The idea that Gunther lost one match, the title wasn't on the line. It's only the second match he's lost. We just established that here. He only lost to Sammy. If the second match he loses is to Cody for this, you know, champion versus champion new title, does that hurt Gunther at all, or does it set up things well for the future? I, I think, again, it can set up then Gunther wanting a rematch, but they can't defend the Crown Jewel title. So, you know, he can... They could actually do a fucking rematch with neither title on the line, just Gunther's bragging rights and let Gunther slip over Cody on a television angle or whatever and get his win back without it meaning anything in the overall scheme of things for the title. But nevertheless, you know, it, they backed themselves in a corner. We figure that uh, Cody will, I think, will probably still be champion in a, in a year from now, the way things are going. But what if, what if they end up with, they have to do rematches of this champion versus champion thing the next year with the same people. Then do they just flip flop the finish or what if that fucks up their, their booking? Uh, well, it's, it remains to be seen. It's an, it's an awkward thing to have to do every year because you've said you're going to do it. But it's $50 million. Hopefully one day uh, an American billionaire will give them lots of money to stay here and let them book their own shows and not have to put together matches that will please the uh, prince. But that was Raw.